Hey everyone, Sam here, and in this quick video, I want to show you two different ways you can manage uh, PNG images inside of your Lotti animations. So here I've just got uh, the thumbnail for my last video, and I've just animated the scale. And so, as I said, there's two different ways you can use images inside of your Lotti animations. Uh, and specifically when exporting them. So if we open up body moving and go into the settings under assets, uh, enable compression will be uh, enabled by default. And if we leave it as is, we can then render it out and click on done. And if we open up our folder, we can find um, the JSON file and an images folder with the PNG in it. And so what might happen is you go to upload your lost animation and then you're surprised that it's not there. Well, that's because it's actually looking for this image in this folder, but obviously you've just uploaded the JSON file and it's not finding it. So you get this uh, image not found logo to replace it. Um, and to fix that, you can either grab the image folder and the JSON, compress it, and you can actually re-upload that to Lottie files, the zip file, and it's gonna work. So you can either use it that way, or you can go back into After Effects, into the settings, under Assets, and click Include in JSON, and as it says, this is going to encode it in the actual JSON file. So if I just rename, so we can compare, uh, let's just call this data old, render it out, there we go, and then here you can see data, image, PNG, base64, and it's got all the information, uh, the image information inside it. So as you can see, this one's pretty, uh, pretty short uh, lengthwise, but this one's got the whole image encoded it in it, and we can quickly upload it and it's gonna work straight away. Uh, so that's a bit of an easier way to do it. Uh, but you can see the difference here. The one without the image is 722 bytes, um, but the one with it encoded is 156 kilobytes. So a bit of a size difference, but I think it's worth it because um, it's just a lot easier to encode the image inside the actual animation file uh, and only have to worry about that. So yeah, and this um, setting is actually enabled by default in the Lottie Files plugin. So it's always gonna encode the animation into the Lottie by default. Um, so yeah, include assets in JSON. So yeah, it that's, that's happening if you're using the Lottie Files plugin. But yeah, just a quick video, I wanted to show that. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.